remove buy with paypal button on shopify hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can remove the buy with paypal button and the example of that is is right here in this page i have this on shopify i have the product i have the add to a cart option and the buy buy with paypal button it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go now the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to your shopify store sign into your account then you are going to use two methods the first one is to go ahead to settings and then you are going to remove the payments uh, for paypal here when this button appear that means that you have set up the uh, paypal transactions or paypal as a payment method as you can see here in my case it is active so i will let you see here both methods the first method is to remove the paypal button without removing the paypal payment method and the second one within the removal of the payment method let's go and start with the first one which is removing the paypal button without the remove of the payment method go first to your online store go to themes under the sales channels click on customize and then we are going to set the product or the buy button you can go ahead to the theme settings and see if you have the uh, the uh, the checkout or you can see here the cart you can remove it or you can go ahead from the sections and here select the product or any type of product you can go ahead and see the products here you can go and put the default products which which will assign this action to all of the products like here now i'm not going to use this because it is not assigned to uh, the paypal it is uh, an amazon um, product i'm going to this one because uh, we have saw right here now it is named buy it now button and in the product page you will see it as buy with paypal you know why this is uh, set as paypal because we are on this button on the pay now or the buy button is showing the dynamic checkout we can read here show dynamic checkout buttons using the payment methods available on your store customers see their preferred options like paypal or apple pay when you deactivate this option it will show up a only a normal button i will go ahead and save this and we will see the result here we have the add to cart button and we don't have the uh, dynamic button i'm going to the store here we have it i'm going to refresh the page and see the difference as you can see the buy with paypal button is gone that was for the first method that was very easy now when you want to uh, enable it again you can go ahead and check out the buy button right here now i'm going to le let this removed and then i'm going to proceed to the next method or the next step you are going to exit the theme store and go and access the settings now we have the settings we are going to the payment we have the paypal button so we are going to deactivate it or we are going to remove that when you click on the paypal icon you will see here the connected account a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses accounts are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any personal uses here we have the payment or the paypal express checkout you can go ahead and deactivate it like that simply you are going to deactivate it and you will be good to go you can go ahead and reactivate it by setting or connecting your paypal account again and etc 
Now let's go ahead to the store and check if everything is set up. Go to online store. I will go and see here the product that I have made the uh, modification in it. And here we have, we have only the add to cart button. Now I'm going to close that and let you see the different options that we can add in the place of the PayPal button. If you want to add a payment method, here we have the option to add it. You can see here payment. You can go ahead and manage the payment. Here we have the bogus, it is for testing. I have set this to make some uh, testings about uh, the store. You can switch to Shopify payments, activate Shopify payments, and you are going to submit the details. This is the Shopify payments. It will accept the Visa card, MasterCard, and etc. American Express. And here we have to put the number and etc. I'm going back right here to the payments. Then I will proceed to the next ones. If you want not to use Shopify payments, you can go ahead here and see all the other providers. Click on them. And here we have a lot of very well known providers. We have Stripe, which is very famous. We have Aiden Payments, Airwallex, Cybersource, and etc. You can go ahead and select one of these, for example, for Stripe. Confirm. You are going to connect your uh, Stripe account with the uh, PayPal or with the Shopify. Here you can go ahead and connect it, put the uh, addresses and put the passwords and you will be good to go. This is for the Stripe account. And I will let you see here with the bonus or the most simpler ways to make the payment. And we have here the Amazon Pay. You can go ahead and activate the Amazon Pay or add a method. Right here, you can go ahead and search a method or search by provider. You can see here we have Amazon, we have Airwallex, Klarna, we have a lot of options. Also, we have the China Payments New, the Coinbase uh, Commerce here. We have to we can go ahead and put the uh, crypto as a payment method and etc. Don't forget to set the taxes and duties on the Shopify store so everything will go well you have to select the country you have to select or add some apps that will have the tax compliances and etc that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content i hope to see you soon on the next one